Hello viewers, I am going to discuss about the importance of calculus and applications. Now we see that applications are used in most of the cases in our engineering field or in the medical field also. Now in our everyday life we are using our calculus and its applications. But most of the students they feel calculus a difficult part. A student studying 12th standard or 11th standard or diploma, whoever may be there. But it is a simple part. If you understand the values and the importance, definitely you will learn. The main purpose of this lecture is to make students to understand the concepts and where we are using our calculus. Number one, consider the following examples. Because in mathematics we have addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, etc. like that. In these cases, we cannot, these cases we cannot apply in all concepts. For example, if you want to buy four pens, each 10 rupees means we write rupees 40 is your cost. We just multiply the number of items by the cost. Suppose a person is traveling 3 kilometers per day and in 5 days, how many kilometers he traveled means in 5 days, we just multiply, we say that 15 kilometers. This is our simple arithmetic. Now, these same applications we cannot apply in all places. For example, a student studying 1 hour per day and getting 20 marks in the examination, 20 marks in the examination. But if he studies 2 hours, he may get 40. If he studies 3 hours, he may get 60. Now the question is, if he studies 5 hours, whether he will get 100 marks? This is our question, whether it is possible. Therefore, then every student will get 100 according to the number of hours of study. So, which is possible or not possible that we have to discuss. That is our ordinary multiplication may not be true here in this case. Consider another example. <coughs> example 2. A person is having a sweet stall and he is getting a daily profit of 3000 rupees. Rupees 3000. Now, suppose if he starts four shops in the same street, whether he will get four into three thousand, twelve thousand rupees profit per day. This is our next question. These are all our ordinary multiplications. Therefore, for these things, where we have the answer, how we are going to apply that, that and all we can able to see our next examples. Consider an example that a person he wanted to have a cylindrical vessel of capacity 100 pi cubic meters, 100 pi cubic meters, meter cube, the capacity of the cylindrical vessel with the lid. The cost of constructing the material is pi square meters is rupees 300. Now, we want to construct this vessel with the least cost. Now, we have, these are the following requirements for that. That area or surface area, we have the formula 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. And the volume formula is pi r square h. Let it be. Now this pi r square h v is equal to 100 pi cubic meters. This is fixed. Now we are going to discuss at one stage the cost of constructing will be least. Now whether it is possible to arrive our arithmetical way or using calculus part. This is our question now. That is we have a table we have a table, serial number, R value and H value, volume V is equal to pi R square H, 
सरफेस एरिया इज इक्वल टू टू पाई आर इंटू एच प्लस आर एंड द कॉस्ट नंबर वन सीरियल नंबर वन आई फिक्स माय रेडियस आर इज इक्वल टू वन एंड एच इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड और पाई आर स्क्वायर एच विल बी हंड्रेड फाइव सी दैट आर इज वन पाई आर स्क्वायर वन स्क्वायर एच हंड्रेड दे फोर वी गेट हंड्रेड पाई दैट इज अवर रिक्वायरमेंट ओके what about the surface area 2 pi r h plus r 101 is equal to 202 pi the cost will be now for pi square meters is rupees 300 therefore we get 202 into 300 will be 60600 rupees the cost will be 60600 rupees suppose If we feel that the cost is too much, we want to rearrange this application. Writing R is equal to two. H is twenty-five like this. I fix. I try second method. So that here will be once again hundred pi because when I apply pi, R square is four. H is twenty-five. So this will be surface area will be now two pi R is two. H plus R is twenty-seven. So this will be equal to 185 cubic meters. So this 108 pi will be 100 into 300 will be equal to 00 32,400 rupees. Please check this. Therefore, the cost of this uh, construction is now is slowly reduced to some extent. Now third case. Suppose if I take R is equal to five and H is equal to four, that is another method. Therefore we get hundred pi once again. Pi R square H is hundred, and here two pi R R is five. H plus R is nine. Is equal to ninety pi. Is equal to ninety into three hundred. Is equal to twenty-seven thousand. Therefore we see that when the radius is going on increasing. the cost of construction is now going on decreasing but what is the minimum cost we cannot go on test like this suppose if i take at one stage r is equal to 10 and h is equal to 1 once again i get 100 pi that is the cost will be here 2 into pi into r h plus r is 11 that is 220 pi is equal to 220 into 300 will be equal to 66000 rupees therefore again it is increasing therefore the cost is decreasing at one stage and again it is increasing that is the graph may be like this the cost is decreasing and it is increasing and there is a point what we call the minimum point how to find out the minimum expenditure or minimum cost of constructing this this we cannot go on take under trial our calculus will help us to identify what is the minimum value for this the minimum cost so that where it turns and once you leave this place and after that again that cost will go on increase this side cost this side radius value so that we can able to identify only with the help of calculus and what should be the radius and what should be the height that will give you the minimum cost therefore we need the calculus to learn this is one example in the previous example as the radius that goes on increases the cost that goes on decreases but again when you go on increase the radius the cost is increasing but there is a limit point there is a minimum point a minimum value there is some value for r at which the cost will be minimum that is identified there now consider the second example that a person is having number of buses he is the transport owner but all the buses are traveling from this place to this place say xx to yy i am not mentioning the name from which place to which place xx to yy let the ticket price be 16 rupees but though this uh, transport owner is having number of buses people are not uh, traveling in his bus therefore he is having heavy loss 
therefore he is following usual technique of giving some concession or some schemes saying that any person traveling a number of persons are traveling on a day if up to 140 no concession will be given and more than that suppose if x passengers are more than that 140 five paise concession is given for this x and for all the 140 passengers plus this x therefore the concession is given for all 140 plus x passengers that 5 paise concession cost for this x that is like this so 16 rupees minus 0.05 times x this will be the ticket price for all the passengers traveling on that particular day now the question is whether this transport owner will get the maximum profit whether the transport owner has to stop at somewhere giving this concession this is our question if the concession is not stopped at one stage what will happen and how to identify this value of x this and all we cannot go by trial method this is only with the help of calculus we can able to identify that now what will happen if that x is only one only one person is more than what that 140 means the concession is only 5 paise the ticket price will be 16 rupees minus 5 paise into 1 is equal to 15 rupees 95 paise per ticket and it is given for all the 140 plus 1 is equal to 141 passengers suppose 10 people are more than 140 then the cost will be 10 into 0.05 divided by z equal to 16 minus 50 by 7 15 rupees 50 by 7 15 rupees 50 by 7 and 15 rupees 50 by 7 is for 140 plus 10 is equal to 150 all the 150 passengers each cost will be uh, ticket price will be 15 rupees 50 paise if that goes on like that at one stage this is one example at one stage suppose if 320 passengers are more one passenger 10 passenger 320 passengers are more then the cost will be 16 rupees minus 320 times 0.05 16 minus 16 is equal to 0 Therefore, when 320 plus 140 plus 320 is equal to 460 passengers when they travel on a day, they need not buy ticket because that cost comes to zero. Now, the trouble is where, what, for what value of Vx, the transport owner will have the maximum income or the maximum profit. That is our problem. This can be calculated only with the help of calculus. What is that? Maxima, minima. Only with that we can able to identify. For that we have to frame. That is profit P is equal to 140 plus X into 16 minus 0.05 times X. So that if you take this equation, P is equal this for this X accordingly the cost. Then we can able to identify x value as 90. We can we will we'll discuss that in later on while we will take that applications. Our x will be 90. That is, when x is 90, he will get the maximum profit. If it is one less, profit is less. If it is one more, again the profit is less. For example, I give you that uh, table. When x is equal to 90, Profit will be equal to 140 plus 90 times 16 minus 0.05 into 90 is equal to 230 times 450. Please check that 450. <coughs> 90. 450. Suppose if x is equal to 91, just one patient, one person more, 
then profit will be equal to 140 plus 91 into 16 minus 0 0.05 into 91 is equal to 231 into 11 rupees 45 paise 264495 that is the profit is now decreased by 5 paise suppose if you take 89 patient persons when x is equal to 89 140 plus 89 16 minus 0.05 times 89 is equal to 229 into 16 minus that is equal to 229 times 55 1155 and this will be again 264495 we see that the maximum profit is at this stage when x is 90. This how to identify? This can be identified only with the help of calculus only in maximum minima. That is why we see that the calculus that plays a very important role in mathematics. So these are the two examples. Like that there are so many examples that we cannot go on give here and these are two examples where we can identify this. Therefore, the graph of that will be like this. The graph will be like this. The profit will go on increase like this. It will come like this. At one stage, this is when x is equal to 90, we get the maximum profit and one less or one more or 89 for 91. So you get like this. So this is 2645. 2645 and this is 2644.95. Therefore, in these two cases. Therefore, to identify this peak point, the maximum point, we are using our calculus.